Good afternoon, friends of CPC Strategy. Uh, my name is Caden Raj. I'm a member of the new business development team here at CPC Strategy. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about winning the Google Shopping auction um, and why Google Shopping is so important. Um, as many of you may know, Google two years ago introduced the new shopping campaigns as they actually uh, went paid. Um, and one of the real reasons that they're so important is because they work. Uh, they're profitable. They convert, and interestingly enough, they usually charge a cheaper CPC. Uh, one of the reasons that these Google Shopping ads are so compelling is because of the images on the Google Search Engine Results page. And so I actually drew something for you here in 30 seconds. Kind of looks like a Google Search Engine Results page, but typically you're going to see ad text. Uh, these are your traditional keyword-based ads that have been around for 10, 15 years. Um, and then we've got our product listing ads. Uh, these are image-based and powered by the actual Google Merchant Center feed. And within those ads, we have the price, we have the image of the product, we have the actual title. Um, and they're starting to show up, or they've been showing up at the top of the SERP. Um, and they're absorbing a lot of the actual click-through rates. Um, interestingly enough, this program is powered by two critical components. Uh, first, we've got the product data feed. And this is going to be the sampling of all the products in your feed, all the products that you sell online. Um, everything from your titles, descriptions, brands, all the modifiers that you'd want to include in there. Um, and the other set of tools that's really deciding what enters this actual auction are going to be your AdWords levers. And there's a number of them there. Uh, but before we dive into a lot of the specifics um, around Google Shopping, I would like to talk a little bit about the key differences. And so. Uh, with traditional text ads, we're bidding on keywords. We're drilling directly into blue dress shirt and deciding that you know that's exactly where I want my text-based ad to show up. Uh, with product listing ads or Google Shopping, we're bidding on actual products. And the cool thing is, is the same way that Google crawls the web um, to decide who shows up first for organic listings based on the search query, they're doing the exact same thing with your product data feed. And so when you enter a search query, say you're looking for a Nike dry fit tank top, kind of like I got here, um, they're crawling all the data feeds that have submitted um, that product or that title or description or even that brand, um, reviewing the actual search query, taking into account the different AdWords levers we have here, and deciding who actually shows up. And so in a nutshell or in a way, your data feed almost acts like the SEO for your PLA campaigns. And so it's critical to ensure that you have the best title and description possible to show up for those certain queries. Now, what makes this more important, what makes diving into this so deep is because of the profitability of these types of ads. Um, if you're in retail search, it's critical to have these maximized because most times they're just driving a better return on investment. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the CPCs are a lot lower and so, you know, I run into this all the time. Merchants are looking to drive more traffic out of the program. Um, most times with your base product data feed that you're pulling from a lot of your manufacturers, or maybe you are the OEM for your products, uh, you have a set title and description. Um, one of the key ways to rank for different search terms or to drive more impressions on the actual program is to apply feed customization to these titles and descriptions or a lot of the other modifiers. For instance, here we have Nike Dry Fit Tank as the title, and for the description, we just have Dry Fit Racer Running Tank. Those are some of the those are the core terms that Google's going to use. And now, if I'm searching Dry Fit Racer Tank, and I'm serving a, a, have a decent bid on that product within my PLA campaign, I'm probably in pretty good shape, and I'll probably show up for that query. But if you're looking at your numbers at the end of every week, and you're trying to decide, hey, how can I get more traffic? How can I I want, I want more revenue from this program. It's doing so much better than my tech stats. What can I do? Um, well, there's a number of things that you can do. First things I would check would be a lot of these different AdWords lovers. And so first, we've got our bids and our product segments. This is pretty obvious. This is how much you're willing to pay to enter the auction. That's a huge factor. We've got devices, so you can uh, apply percentage increases or decreases on mobile devices, which, you know, there's a lot of mobile traffic. Does it convert? That's another question. We've got your delivery settings. You're going to want to make sure that you're serving your ads at one after the other. Uh, Google defaults to a standard setting that allows you to 
or kind of forces you to deliver them uh, evenly over time, uh, I would want to accelerate those. Then we've got negative keywords. That's more of a sculptor. That's going to limit some of your actual traffic. We've got search terms. This is a good one. And so, like I mentioned earlier, we are bidding on products. But that doesn't mean Google doesn't give you the actual search term that our user is entering into the actual search query bar um, to trigger your ad. And so the search term for this Nike Dry Fit tank was, could have been Nike Dry Fit. Um, and you want to use that information to inform what you're doing with your data feed. A lot of times that's a little bit more elegant than most merchants get. Um, but you know, with a platform or like our CapEx platform, that's obviously something that you could take care of and customize and what we would do here. Geotargeting and ad scheduling, those are pretty standard. Geotargeting lets you target based on certain states. Ad scheduling lets you decide when the actual ads are served. Uh, and then finally, we've got the Google Merchant Center. That's where your actual data feed full of all your products is, is housed. And that's where Google processes all that actual information. And so we've got the AdWords levers, and that's all in the AdWords interface. And now we've got this data feed. And say you've maxed everything out that you possibly can here. You've absorbed all the data that you can. Uh, but still, you're looking for more impressions. And so based on these optimal settings, based on the, the best states that you're targeting, the devices that you're targeting, the best product segments that you have, you have a base level of impressions. You have, let's call it a million impressions. And no matter what you do or with the, based on the feed you're submitting, a million impressions is what you can get. You may be able to run some promos. You may be able to add some colors or new products to increase the click-through rate or maybe help out that impression share a little bit. But for the most part, that's pretty static, except for when it comes to the data feed. The data feed, like I mentioned, it's a critical component of these campaigns. And it's important because these campaigns are profitable for retail search. They work. And so how do I get more traffic? The answer is feed quality. You need to ensure that your Google product category, what segments you're telling Google your products are in, your title, your description, have everything that you need to make sure um, or to rank where you want it to. And so using the search terms that they allow, maybe you find some ideas for what you can import into the title and description to rank for a broader set of terms. Maybe you group your, your best-selling products and you realize that there's only a static number of search terms in there, and you decide to plug some other search terms into your title and description where it makes sense. Now Google has more to go off of to decide when to display your ads. And now that impression denominator that's critical, again, because it's profitable, has now grown. And now there's more room for you to actually qualify your ads for. Um, that's really how to enter the auction in a, in a little bit of a nutshell. Uh, if you'd like more information on you know, a lot of the specifics and where we'd go from here, uh, we do have an amazing PLA guide at cpcstrategy.com that you can download. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks.